we learn our theory parts which are not required next is the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller okay so this is very important microprocessor versus microcontroller the difference so here in microprocessor a silicon chip representing a central processing unit which is capable of performing arithmetic as well as logical operations a microcontroller is highly integrated chip that contains a cpu scratch pad ram special and general purpose register arrays on chip rom flash memory for program storage next here it is a dependent unit it requires the combination of other chips like timers program and data memory chips etc it is a self contained unit and an independent unit which does not require any external interrupts okay then next is most of the time general purpose in design and operation mostly application oriented or domain specific general purpose means it is uh, uh, it is used for uh, mostly all, all the systems whereas microcontrollers are domain specific it is application specific wherever it requires there only it would be uh, fitting in correctly it does not contain a uh, built input output port the input output port functionality needs to be implemented with the help of the external programmable peripheral interface chip that is external programming part has to be done most of the processors contain multiple built in input output ports which can be operated as a single 8 or 16 or 32 bit port or as an individual port okay targeted for high end market where performance is important which here microcontrollers are targeted mainly for the embedded market where performance is not so critical in simple words you can say that microprocessors are mostly mainly are mostly and mainly used in the general purpose computing systems whereas microcontrollers are mostly and mainly used in the embedded systems okay so embedded systems are uh, and uh, microcontrollers have a, a huge link okay that we are going to see in the upcoming modules as well how these two are having a, a certain amount of link limited power saving options compared to microcontrollers and it includes a lot of power saving features okay so again this is very important guys the difference between microprocessor and controller so next difference is again very important one that is a risk versus sisk okay very very important guys okay so these uh, things are there right this it, it is mentioned in a very beautiful table here if you learn these points well and enough your uh, this question would be definitely arriving for 6 to 7 marks in the final exam so the first difference is it has lesser number of instruction uh, there uh, so the name is uh, the name itself uh, suggests that it is reduced instruction set computing so that's why it has lesser number of instruction complex instruction set computing that is complex so it has greater number of instructions next is instruction pipelining and increased execution speed instruction pipelining means the instruction from one branch it would be separating to all the other branches okay so that is the instruction pipelining generally no instruction pipelining is done so one by one the instruction would be getting ex executed okay it takes a lot of time okay execution speed is very less next is orthogonal instruction set that is it allows each instruction to operate on any register and use any addressing mode non orthogonal instruction set operations are performed on registers only operations are performed on registers as well as memory depending on the instruction what type of instruction is being used okay large number of registers are available in case of risk limited number of uh, general purpose registers programmer needs to write more code to execute a task since the instructions are simpler ones okay so in case of uh, risk the instructions are very simple one so that's why the program length also would be very high very large since the instructions are uh, complex and uh, due to that complex instruction the programming part would be very less okay so that's why the instructions like macros in c language is a simple example where a programmer can achieve the desired functionality with a single instruction which in turn provides the effect uh, more simpler than the, than of the risk part okay next is single fixed length instruction next is variable length instructions less silicon usage in and pin count more silicon usage since more additional decoder logic is required to implement the complex instruction decoding it uh, works it follows the harvard architecture and here it follows the harvard or von neumann architecture it depends on the what type of instruction you are using okay so this is these are the some important uh, differences between risk and sisk okay next is uh, harvard versus von neumann architecture okay the points are there so the main difference between harvard and von neumann in is in von neumann we have a single shared bus 
from a single bus we have input memory cpu memory and memory block and whereas in uh, harvard architecture it has separate bus it is not connected through a single bus for example if you see a program memory cpu and data memory okay so these are the differences here that is uh, separate buses for instruction and data fetching for harvard where in, whereas in case of von neumann we have single shared bus for instruction and data fetching easier to pipeline so high performance can be achieved low performance uh, compared to harvard high cost cheaper no memory alignment problems allow self modifying codes okay so that the memory alignment would be easier since data memory and program memory are stored physically in different locations there are no chances for accidental corruption between the data accidental corruption means any unwanted er errors won't be appearing since we have different data memories for data and program memories whereas in case of uh, von neumann architecture since the data and program memories are stored physically on the same chip so it would be very difficult to uh, crack the errors and uh, the error uh, probability is very very high okay so these are the differences between harvard and von neumann architecture next is big indian versus little indian processors okay so again uh, these things are very important ones uh, little indian little indian means the lower order byte of data is stored in memory at the lowest address whereas the higher order byte of data is stored at the highest address okay that is the little end comes first whereas big indian big indian is just opposite of little indian that is the higher order byte is there right the higher order of the msb bit is stored memory in the lowest address whereas the lower order that is the lsb bit is stored at the highest address okay the msb bit is stored in the lowest address and the lsb bit is stored at the highest address whereas in little indian it is Uh, uh, lower for lower address and higher for higher address okay so this in uh, this simple diagram they have uh, referred for a uh, uh, for different addresses the memory locations the bytes are stored here you see here so this is for little indian byte 0 the lowest address byte 1 next address byte 2 next address and byte 3 okay so see here the lowest address the highest byte that is byte 3 byte 2 comes the next address byte 1 next address and byte zero okay just the opposite uh, to that of the little indian so this is one simple representation of little indian and big indian you please make a note of it you this is very very important okay so that's all for this video guys i hope uh, some other things are there that i'm going to instruction pipelining and all that i'm going to explain in the next video okay so that's all for this video guys hope you understood something from this video we have discussed a lot of concepts in this video as well main thing we have discussed about the core of the embedded system elements required in that what are the elements and what are its relations everything we have discussed and we have uh, seen with some of the main differences that is a uh, microprocessor versus microcontroller risc versus cisc little indian versus big indian harvard von neumann architecture everything we have discussed so all whatever we have discussed right everything is very very important guys so you should be studying all of it okay so as i've told you this pdf i'm going to put it in the video's description go access it by subscribing it to our channel download it and please go through it okay so thanks for listening till here guys like share subscribe to our channel uh, we'll see you in the next video okay thank you